Welcome back. This go around, I'm going to take a look at a basketball game for the Neo Geo developed by Daddy East. Um, it is a three on three basketball game. It is rated at 94 megs and came out in 1994. Only basketball game for the Neo Geo. And it's known as Street Slam here in the United States. There's Street Slam in Europe. And no, Street Hoop in Europe. And Dump Dream in Japan. I don't know for why the life of me. There's so many different damn names for it. Because really the only difference is, is here's the American version. You can choose from various uh, teams across uh, major cities in, in the United States. Whereas it's in Euro and Japanese versions, you can choose from um, various countries. So that's really about it. And there's only two buttons you use, a pass, a shoot, you can do all sorts of wild moves, some NBA Jam type moves, and it pays homage to NBA Jam, Double Dribble, and um, a little bit of Arch Rivals, I guess. Alright, so let's just get into it. Alright, I'm going to pick Philly, because that's where I'm from. Alright, hopefully I don't get my ass whipped. Uh, graphics, very colorful, very cartoony. Um, very nice to look at. Everything is animated very smoothly. And moves with, um, like I said, animated very well. Smooth, fluid, no slowdown, no nothing like that. That inter would interfere with the game. The soundtrack, if you listen to it, is hip-hop, accompanied with uh, rap lyrics, which is probably one of the best parts of this game. Alright, as you see, that's my super meter right there. I can go for a super jam like that when it gets filled up, and the way how you fill it up is by um, landing uh, your uh, dunks, shots, etc. go. Um, there's no rules in this game. It's not based on um, being simulated or anything like that. It's uh, just street basketball at its finest. Now, the one thing is the announcer is really cool, and he's not annoying as in some games, but he actually doesn't um, get the terminology for certain play shots. Like he says, half court. It's not half court. So, you know, the Japanese aren't probably that familiar with American style uh, street ball or basketball in general. So, you know, there's some messed ups, but it's cool. It's cool. It's actually cool because it's quirky. Now, what is it, now, some minor gripes is that sometimes it gets to be a pain in the ass to um, when there's too many people on screen, especially near the net. Ah! So, it gets confusing at times because you can't choose who um, you can pass your um, the ball to. So, that kind of sucks. Ah, oh, cool. Got it. Ah, shit! He caught it for me. Oh! Come on, come on, come on! Ah! Ah! Pain in the ass! But, um, yeah, that's the only thing is you can get confusing of, um, who's who at times. The... Graphics on the backgrounds are actually pretty cool. While they don't actually, even though I picked Philadelphia, it's not like this is actually what Philadelphia, um, an actual locale or what they're basing it on. So, um, well, if it was truly Philly, you'd have, you'd see uh, drug transactions and possibly shooting going on. So it's not that realistic. 
but it does its thing, and it's a really fun game to play. You can find it for the MVS for like maybe 30, 40 bucks, the CD cheaper, the AS you're going to put up uh, around, I'd say, uh, maybe about 200 bucks, to be honest with you. But, you know what, since it's the only Neo Geo game for it, and it's actually really fun to play, you know, I could see um, people actually uh, playing and paying for this game, because you know what, oh shit, where the hell did that go? I can see people paying for it, because it really is an actual fun game to um, play. Now, I kind of didn't know too much about this game, and um, thought it was going to kind of suck, which... In a sense, it doesn't, because I should have trusted, because Data East produces some really good games. And, um, the game is outstanding. Ah, caught it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, go, 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 go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's going to try to get the super shot on me. Ah, oh, it didn't even go in. But, like I said, um, definitely check this game out. You're going to really enjoy it. It's worth, um, even if you don't have anything near Geo and you want to emulate it because that's your only way to play it, definitely check it out. It's really a great game. And I'm glad I actually took the time to actually play the game and um, and find out it's really good. Some great lyrics, seriously. Great lyrics. Also, um, I forgot to mention that each of the team's um, attributes, let's say my team is supposedly bad at um, slam dunks, but they're known for, um, what you call it, three-pointers. So, you do have to be careful um, what team you choose. So, yeah. But I chose it because it's uh, Philly, and, you know, you choose your own home team. You know, that type of dealy. Ah, oh, come on. Boom, go boom, boom. Great animations, absolutely great animations here. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. There we go, that's it. Like I said, you must check this game out, you're going to enjoy it. Um, you'd be foolish not to give it a try. Even though I'm not into sports games um, by any means. I think a lot of them are shit and they concentrate on being too real. If I want to be too real, I'll actually go outside and play the goddamn game. But this is um, a game that actually, you know, concentrates on just being that, an arcade-style game, where it just, it's just fun to play, and that's the way it should be, without having to rely on anything um, real physics or anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave a little bit more gameplay, probably get my ass whipped. Um, and yeah, just uh, check the game out. Oh, you blocked the shit out of me. It's cool one of the songs in here called Magical on the Blacktop. Oh, I should have caught that. Alright then, I don't want to keep on, uh, you know, just babbling on. Definitely check the game out. It's very highly, highly recommended. Um, you will not be disappointed. Alright then, I hope you enjoyed. I'm out.